Welcome back to my project 13. Out and about, taking care of my chores. Yeah, you know it, my responsibilities. And it's a beautiful day. There's a lot of people out running around. Dogs, joggers, bikers. They're everywhere. But it's going to rain tomorrow. <laughs> That's Oregon for you. 85 degrees one day. The next day, it's a downpour. <laughs> it's crazy. Anyway, um, if it gets a little dark at times, because we have a lot of trees here in Oregon, man, so that's that's the shade hitting the car, hitting me, and then you get to see what in 1080p S7 Edge right here, front facing cam, looks like in low light when those trees are over my device, over my car, uh, and while I'm doing this video. So, um, anyway, a couple topics. Number one, the LG G5, now been out for a little bit, Quality issues on random devices, probably a batch or two. Uh, there were a lot of folks out there that got some of those devices that weren't happy. And if you were one of them, what are you thinking now as a consumer with this technology? Is it still promising? Is it, in your mind, suck? It's not going anywhere? You don't see it working? You know, do you not see uh, the integrity of device holding up with modular parts, interchangeable parts? You know, we got Project Aura coming out Kickstarter project that should be at some time, hopefully, uh, releasing its first device, but that device is gonna be a little different. It's gonna have a frame, basically, and then it's gonna let, allow you to change everything on that device, whether it's your display, your camera, your speakers, your charging port area, what type of charging port it's going to be. I mean, it's, it's gonna be just, uh, you know, your processor. You know, you get sick and tired of a 820, and you want, you want to go back to an 808, or an 810, or an 805, I think you'll be able to, hopefully they, they, they make different, you know, I don't know how far back they'll, they'll make uh, processors for their devices, but, you know, you're going to have a lot of options um, down the road with that device. I'm sure it's going to be limited at first, no more than the LG G5 is. Right now it's got a few options for that, but that's going to increase, and I'm hoping that LG will construct a second gen to be able to allow the modular parts that are out right now with the first gen to fit onto the second gen. That would be, I think, smart of them because especially with the way things started out kind of shaky, you want to be able to spend your money on something you'll be able to use with the second gen. So hopefully they're thinking about the consumer when they're drawing up the blueprint of that device. And I'm sure quality control is going to be a fixed issue. And I think it's going to stay promising. Project Aura, LG G5, and I think other companies are drawing up their blueprints for their devices so i think we're going to see uh a lot more to come i think it's promising still i think you know and every whenever you have some sort of new technology i i guess we have to expect that it wasn't going to be perfect even though you know these are trained professionals and they should get it right the first time well you know what it's anything man-made is not perfect right every device has something whether it's tiny or big you know whether it's a little lag whether it's a little this and that. I mean, there's going to be something. You know, we're never going to be happy, right? But when you're paying a lot of money, I mean, like $629 for the G5, I think that device should have been cheaper. Um, they were trying, uh, you know, obviously a different layout aesthetically with that device. I think they should have gone a little cheaper, you know, somewhere in the 500s. You know, no more than the S7 Edge, man. You know, a little bit of an upgrade from the S6. Uh, you know, I, I think this could have been cheaper. I think devices are just too out there when it comes to spending money on them. But I, I'll come back to that in just a second. But my point is, the G5 ended up being a very phenomenal device. It was just overshadowed for a period of time with that whole quality control issue. But now we find out underneath the hood, it's a powerful device. It's got a great camera. I think it's a sexy looking device. And a lot of people out there sending feedback to this channel specifically, talking about how they're really enjoying their device and there's nothing wrong with their device. So, you know, I'm glad. I'm glad this device is working out. I'm glad it's turning it out to be a device that people are still picking up. And there's a lot of positivity coming back about that device. So LG, you know, uh, stepped up with this technology. They're the first ones to really come out with it and, and do something with it. It wasn't perfect at the get-go, but hey, man, it's, it's a device to be reckoned with in hand using it as a daily driver when you get past some of those devices that came out that had quality control issues. 
So yes, I think it's still promising. I think LG um, builds on this. I think other companies look at this and go, okay, okay, what are we drawing up? What are we gonna do with that? What's the foundation for that type of technology? You know, how can we make it substantial? You know, and a device with integrity that consumers are willing to pay this kind of money, whether it's five or six, you know, I, I really want to see the seven and eight hundred dollar prices go away. Because now it's it should be getting easier because it leads up to my next topic on devices peaking. Another thing I've been looking into, have devices peak, they all basically have the same look. Sure, some have processors that are are much more powerful than others, cameras that are better, but I mean, they, it's still basically the same idea, right? Nothing is really wild. I mean, this device, the S7 Edge I'm using right now, it's just, it's a phenomenal device. It's powerful, camera is great. It's got a beautiful quality build to it. Um, but is it wowing me? You know, am I, no, you know, am I, running through the street shouting, oh my gosh, look at this, no. But it's still a phenomenal device. But when is the next thing going to come out where we're like, oh my gosh, did you hear about that? That is just amazing. You know, a Samsung is in development of a, a foldable smartphone, which is going to be something quite new. And we don't know how that's going to take off when they finally announce. I'm sure it's going to be a couple years, probably. I, I mean, I don't know. Again, everything I'm talking about is not fact. It's just my opinion and just my thoughts from out of here. So, um, but at the end of the day, with all these smartphones from all these companies, whether they're unlocked, whether it's, you know, whether, you know, unlocked devices from like Blue or Huawei, um, Xiaomi, and then the, then then the companies we all know, right? Samsung, Apple, you know, um, LG, Motorola, go on. Anyway, all of them, too many of them, thousands of them. There's there's nothing really been. I get wild with mid-range devices, man. I get wild by budget devices because for what you're paying and what you're getting, you know what I'm saying? That, that wows me, but they're still aesthetically the same thing, kind of, right? Just not high-end specs, even though we're now starting to see that and we're starting to see prices come down um, for devices that are in the mid-range, mid-range flagship, budget uh, budget flagships, if you, if you can have that. Um, you know, so, I mean, three years ago, what you would get for $400 and what you get now for $200 and it's still in the same area, right? So, if that makes sense, hope you got me on that. But again, it's it's I'm more wowed by mid the mid stage and below because of what you're getting for the price that you're paying that you couldn't get two three years ago. So, have we peaked? Okay, before I go on for like a half hour, have we peaked? Are we ready for a a big moment, a big wow? And what is that wow? Do you have any ideas of what we need to see aesthetically? The materials? I don't know, you know, what's underneath the hood? Visually, what's on a display? You know, when you're watching movies, uh, the sound that comes out of a device, what kind of technology can go into uh, speakers to really wow us in these small devices? You know, a lot of them are coming out waterproof now.